What's up guys? I'm your host Francis and Dead. Welcome to my channel and uh, welcome to the uh, second uh, YouTube video clip that I'm making for tonight. So in this uh, second, uh, se second episode of tonight's filming, I would like to, to, uh, to, uh, to, to, uh, to address a few key points regarding social engineering. So probably uh, social engineering may sound a, a little bit obscure or you know unfamiliar to 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 uh, most of you guys, but you know. However, so social engineering techniques are omnipresent. They basically they they apply to daily conversations, daily encounters with with um you know with uh, pretty much all types of people you know and uh, you can use social engineering techniques to leverage people power human re human resources and uh powers advantages from things you know that you can you can you know you can manipulate thus enabling you to manipulate more people you know to your own advantages so uh back to back to the main thing of this uh, video clip let's uh let's say let's say you uh you are an uh, you were an entrepreneur. You are uh, let's say uh, typically you are an IT on entrepreneur. You wish to find out more, you know, more uh, about your business rivals who who you know who uh, just o who just open and you know an advertising a agency right beside your office. Or you know, or your workplace, your workshop, blah blah blah. What you know, uh, whichever the, the you know, whichever type of uh, workplace you choose to you know to to you know to uh, establish your business at, um, and then you know, and then uh, you wish to uh, you know to 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 get at least a bit of vague understanding of how your rivals um, operate uh, in a profitable way and uh, in you know and more importantly in a more scalable way you know so so uh, what what exactly so what exactly does uh, scalability mean S well uh, scalability means you know uh, uh, well it's uh, pretty much carries the the um, equivalent meaning um, as you know enterprise mobility as well as uh, flexibility you know so say when you have a when you have a scalable business your um, operating cost does not uh, con considerably or remarkably increase with you know with the staffs that uh, that you hire and with the number of orders that you process in a in a uh, dur or during a very specific time frame you know this time frame can be you know can be an hour it, it can be uh even just a minute it, it and it can be as long as you know a an, an entire fiscal year you know so these are all the uh, key intels that you wish to gather uh, that you wish that that you may wish to gather you may wish to extract from you know from the conversation that you have with the people you know you know to whom you are 
giving a call. You know, you, you can also apply these techniques, you know, while you are applying for a job, you know. I, actually, I have tried many of these uh, techniques. So, you know, the most straightforward method method or, 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 or the simplest method is to simply ask, you know, to, to, to get to the point, you know, to ask by getting to the point when you are, while you are, uh, while, while you are speaking to that per, per, per particular person now who are in charge of that specific, that certain, the, the, uh, the department of that certain organization or institution. So yes, you can ask them. You can ask them the following questions, such as, what can you tell me about your organizational structure? Can I find such information on your website? If, um, if, if not, where can I find them? And uh, you know, you can also ask more you know, more questions that you are not generally supposed to ask. Like, you know, can you tell me something interesting uh, 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 about your superiors, your boss, or the shareholders? And uh, also, you can ask, do you guys or do you enjoy what you are doing? Do you enjoy your job, or do, do you have any pre-arrangement? Pre pre, um, pre excuse me. Do you have any pre-arrangement? You know, to switch jobs. Sorry, to, to to switch jobs, or or you know, or to give or to uh, submit any proposal for future promotion to your boss. You know, I hope that sounds well specific enough to you guys. And uh, last but not least, always, always smile and, uh, you know, always end the conversation in a pleasant manner. You know, say, uh, then you can say, have a great day, have a nice day. Have fun, you know. These are, this may sound a, a little bit a cliche or you know, colloquial, but you know, it always give, it always, you know, makes you sound nice and uh, look and uh, look nice to the person that you are speaking to. You know the, well. The the uh, key is you know it's to the key to gathering truly useful intel's even the you know even the keys you know to you know to to you know to truly you know to truly benefiting your own small businesses entities you know is to you know, is to making, is to make yourself sound more charismatic, professional, um, also easy to communicate with. I, I, I believe, I firmly believe, and uh, I'm sure you will find it convincing, you know, for me to say that most people, they they do not enjoy, you know, using or hearing, you know, the uh, fancy uh, terminologies in, you know, especially your customers. And uh, even, even for the, you know, for the, for some of the employees of that particular organization that, that you wish to extract Intel's, you know, some of the uh, some of 
the uh, junior level in in um, employees, they just you know they they are already having a bad day, a terribly o overwhelmed, terribly overwhelmed day during their work. So you know, it's always it, it's always um, crucial that you appeal to them. That you that that you that you appease, and you appeal to their feelings during their work, and uh, you know you so that uh, sorry so that they can you know they find they find the conversation that they had with you is pleasing and. Uh, reassuring even and uh, you know reassuring pleasing and uh, cozy you know to a a a at least release and relieve some of their stress and strain and uh, you know and last but not least is the consensus is the record that you can manage to develop and or you can manage to reach with them so it's basically the con the consensus and the record so you know i shall be making more uh, video clips regarding such topic as my investigation as my uh, undercover investigate investigation and infiltration pro um pro pro progresses sorry about my starting please do pardon me for my stuttering and uh all i'm trying to do here is to is, is to giving you know, is to give you guys a bit of ideas inspirations plus my own work experiences in medium to large corporations so Thank you guys again sin sincerely for watching and uh, stay tuned. I shall see you on the next episode of Francis and Dead um, Workplace Revelation Episodes. Peace out. Signing off. God bless. Cheers.